stuck in your head about what you want versus what the world wants. Meaning, you might be dreaming of something for yourself that is different than what you're scripted for, um, whether it be your parents or yourself even. Um, but it looks like you're trying to rush towards, you know, in the Knight of Swords way, an answer, um, a path forward, but you're kind of just torn. Um, and then sometimes when you don't, or when you can't make a decision, you just freeze. But it's regarding something huge, for, you know, it's regarding something that you dream about, something that you love, something that you want, you know, it's just kind of like this, the sun is everything that you've ever wanted. The sun rules everything. The sun provides abundance, it provides your dreams. It also provides love and passion. Um, there's a baby riding on a horse, you know, like there's sunflowers. It's just a good old time. Um, so you're kind of like, well, do I go with what my heart and dreams want? Or, you know, or do I go with some other path that's like, you know, forcing me to go there? Or something, someone forcing you to make a decision, but in your in your gut, you know that it's not the right choice. You know you you know what you want and you, what's really in your heart, um, but you're also pointing towards like how society kind of makes you want to go to. What should I be at this age? You know who should I be at this age? All that garbage really um that we put on ourselves gives us anxiety for no reasons because we're all supposed to be synced um in life at the same time to do the same thing at the same exact time how unlikely is that you know and you kind of you know there are also you know just general trends that people you know have because there's billions of people in the world but you know to force yourself into such a square um, for no reason, you know, everyone has different timing for, you know, and the world works in its ways for a reason. And sometimes if you are out of timing, you might think you're out of timing, but you're actually in sync. Um, but society tells you that you're out of timing. So that's kind of like what I'm kind of getting here like giving up on your dreams and going for a practicality versus going after your dreams and love and passion, you know, expression, whatever you dream about, whatever you truly want. If the world was yours and you can do anything with it, what would you do? Obviously there's love, you know, involved with that. Um, you're bored. You're bored with love offers right now. You might not be getting a lot of action or at least the action that you're getting is very boring to you. Or maybe the practicality of life. You know, if you choose this route, it's just get the safe man, get the safe job and have the safe life, but don't really go after your dreams. Or do you go after your dreams and risk this, this, this found, you know, the safety or this quote unquote safety you know, we're never really safe. Like, even if you think you're being safe, you're probably being very dangerous actually doing that. Um, so that's kind of like what I'm getting with that. Let's see if comes to out. What's up with this dream? These dreams of yours? King of Wands, baby. Sexuality, sensuality, someone that's going to ignite your senses, right? When you look on this side of life, the practical side of life of what society thinks you should do, it's kind of cold and sterile like a, a sword is. 
There's not a lot of emotion and, and warmth, fire, passion, you know, um, and that's boring to you because as much as you like a good conversation and you definitely need intellectual connection, you need something a little bit more than that too. Um, but then when you look on the other side of life with the sun, the king of wands, this is both fire energy. So you're kind of going back and forth with like what ignites your soul versus what life should probably tell you to do. Um, and it's a choice. Um, it's a hard choice. But you, you know, you want someone to be passionate with it, to, to, to laugh with, to have fun with, you know, to keep things alive with, um, to have a family with, whatever you dream about with the sun. Um, you want to be in charge of that. You want to make it happen. Um, and there's a lot of action that's regarding that. So it's like you can do the practical route with some inaction of just kind of giving up or settling for safeness. Or do you have a lot of action? To get where you want to go that your dreams are you willing to risk it are you willing to you know do a lot of action do, you know do what you need to do to get these dreams it's not going to come easily still just because you dream something doesn't mean it comes true you have to do the thing still and we have the page of cups with the nine of cups coming out together Page of Cups with the Nine of Cups. It seems as if, you know, you're kind of working towards something regarding love. This, this Sun card is definitely connected to some sort of love um, that you're wishing for. And with the Nine of Cups, you know, this is a great card, and a Page of Cups is kind of offering you this. So there might be some sort of younger energy that's a water sign. They might think of you in the Nine of Cups kind of way, like you are everything that they're kind of wishing for. They've had all the cups, but you, and they might offer something very flirtatiously, but very subtle. Not too much, because he's a page. You know, he's younger energy. They're kind of just flirting around with ideas because they don't know better. You know, they don't have a lot of experience um, yet with things to have enough confidence to come in like a king of wands kind of way. Um, but it seems like while you're trying to figure out which way to go in life, there's someone kind of figuring you out or looking at you and wanting to offer you um, something, some sort of start to love. It's a very small start. Anything else about the page? Justice. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's someone that you've known already. Someone that you've had a falling out with. Someone that wants some justice. Uh, because they think of you in the Nine of, nine of Cups fashion. They, they think that you're, um, you're uh, everything. Some balance in love and life. Justice is a good card to, you know, to kind of, you know, end this, you know, middle with is because eventually you're going to figure out which way to go. And eventually you're going to find what you need, what you need to find. Um, I think you already know. Everyone already knows. It's just the rationalization that we all make about what to do in life. We, are, we already know what to do. It's just whether or not you're going to do it. And with the justice card, with the, you know, the scales, it seems like you're going to figure it out. You're going to balance it out and you're going to have a great work life love balance. You know, you're, you're going to have a good work life. You're going to have a life um, outside of work because let's not forget that, you know, um, it's not all about work. What do we do after work? You know, and who are we doing it with? So there might be some sort of new opportunity with that 10 on one on the clock. I'll leave it there.